you can't handle the truth about depositions. But depositions are things that occur prior to the trial that make them highly unlikely. You may be taking a deposition or watching a trial or just curious. In a trial, you go through a phase called discovery. What the idea of this is, is my side needs to give all my information to the other side so that the two parties know all the facts, can agree on them, but also in trial can present them, know what's coming and, and reach a fair uh, outcome with the jury or with the settlement with each other beforehand. Part of this is what's called depositions. It is asking lots and lots and lots of questions of each potential witness. But that is where you discover all the facts in the case. So anytime you see someone in the stand, those exact questions have already been asked. A lawyer is allowed, if they answer differently, to bring it up and read it out. So as you can see, preparing for your deposition is extremely important because those words can be used at trial. So if you are preparing for your deposition, keep watching because I have tips to help you prepare. I'm sure your lawyer will go through some of these. All right, the first tip is, but tell the truth for the reason that I mentioned before. It will be read out loud and you are under oath. You can obviously get in trouble, but then it can be held against you if you are inconsistent about something. So be prepared enough to either say, I don't know, or tell the truth or explain something that may seem inconsistent. Another thing that we think is important is to understand the cause of action in the lawsuit. Sometimes the other lawyer can ask these goofy sounding questions like, did you willfully such and such? Willfully just sounds like a redundant word. If I did it, it was obviously willfully. But willfully in a legal sense can mean something different. It can be defined differently in, uh, in that actual case. Another tip is be a good witness. Part of the deposition process is understanding what the witnesses will be like at trial. So you want to present well as a witness. It's easier said than done sometimes, but at least you can always make sure you have good manners and that you're nice. It comes off uh, really well when you do that. Don't answer something that you don't know. This is where uh, deposition preparation is so helpful. We all have an, a tendency to kind of guess, give our best guess, only answer something that, that you actually know the answer to. There's nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. If you don't understand something, make sure they rephrase it. It needs to be very clear and very understood by you. You never want to say yes or I agree or that's correct to anything unless you understood all of it. You don't have to fill the silence. Let the silence sit, be okay with it. It's perfectly fine. Don't let them put words into your mouth. You know, you make sure that it is something you actually said. You can ask them to rephrase that again. The last little tip here, and sometimes this throws people off, is that you'll be asked at the beginning, how did you prepare for this deposition? Hey, this is a normal question and there's nothing wrong with talking to your lawyer, looking for documents, being prepared. It's actually a good thing but it makes them feel like they did something wrong and it kind of rattles them early. All right, I hope those tips are helpful. I hope you never have to sit for a deposition, but I hope those tips are helpful if you do, and I hope you understand trials are won and lost during this discovery phase.